today. If you're here, I know about the uh, the bus pass for seniors. And I believe six months ago, thereabouts, uh, we had a consultant looking at our, our uh, consultant looking at our transit system and improvements. They passed in a report, and in that report was uh, a possible increase of up to anywhere from 1,200 percent, 1,800 percent for seniors from that $50 a year bus pass. At the time, our age-friendly committee at the city have uh, advised city council that they didn't like that 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 possible increase. Uh, and I just want to say that it's just a consultant's report. Any increase has to go through a budget process. That has not happened. So right now, the bus pass stands at fifty dollars per year. With the bus pass, seniors that don't have a car and have mobility issues, myself. We can get out in the winter time, we have freedom of movement, we can do our shopping, we can go to restaurants, we put money into the city, and so $50 a year. I don't mind paying a little bit more, but I can't pay $1,000, $400, $500. $1, I just, I know, I, I think that I don't mind contributing. I don't mind contributing. I've used the buses since 1981. Okay, so I put a lot of money in the city. We come here today and we have uh, uh, Ray and Granny to have a song for City Council. Um, we have some petitions to uh, give, sign petitions, and uh, we have a couple of speakers. So uh, we could just maybe go ahead with that. So we'll start off with the Ray and Granny. Thinking of raising bus prices. Beyond what some seniors can pay, for some this will be a real crisis and leave them at home all the day. Stand tech city, please make a bus pass for seniors now. Stand tech city. Many seniors in our city live well below the poverty line. Aside from the pressing issues of housing, food insecurity, and inability to have necessary medications prescribed, we are now facing a 1,000% proposed increase in our bus fare. This problem, however, unlike the others I just noted, is one that may be created by the city. But unlike the others, it's an easy fix. Simply don't do it. It's better for clear air. It's worse to take train straight and walk for the bus on the So give all your chance of a cheap fare. We don't need $30 million of investment in airports right now. We need $30 million of investment in public transit in our cities. Public transit is good for seniors. Public transit is good for people on low income. Public transit is good for everyone. And we should fund it appropriately. We should make our, our buses run uh, at, at lower intervals. We should make them run on straighter routes. We should have more buses. We should have more drivers. We should convince the city, starting with Eric, to invest in that. My name is Jenica Atwood. I'm your Green Party representative for the upcoming election. I'm very proud to be uh, supporting a government initiatives that would actually put more money in the hands of our municipalities so they actually would be facing such tough decisions when it comes to budget time. Um, we know that transportation is a, a key barrier, not just for our seniors, for our youth, for low income. We absolutely need more infrastructure funding. Um, I've just visited St. Anne's Court yesterday. Their only bus access is across a busy highway, and their own buses have been run on weekends. So to go visit family, to go do their shopping, to do their, you know, any of our necessary daily errands, um, not possible for them. So we need more uh, infrastructure. We do need to revamp the current system. And we cannot raise the bus pass price for our seniors, absolutely not. So just again, I applaud your activism today. I love singing with you. I'm behind you and I fully support you. Thanks so much. I just want to say one thing. I know Eric here, Council McGarity, is here hearing our complaint and concern about the possible uh, review of fare. I am confident that he will take back the feedback from all of the people today to make it clear to Council the public does not support 
cutting back the low fare for seniors. Look, I can tell you this. I can tell you again. I'm going to say it again. There's no increase at this time for senior bus fares. Thank you very much. Uh, your voices have been heard. There's been no, no decision to raise the bus pass at this time. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming up. Now just raise the flag and enjoy the rest of the day. While you're speaking truth to power.